The memory appears to be fragmented. How much time has passed? A few months, I think. That virus is cutting off our access to complete memories. The readable, but messy. The Seven Years' War will soon break out in the colonies. Focus on assassin defense. We'll do our best. Won't we, numbskull? It's so grim about the homestead now that Miss Abigail and little Connor have passed. Aye. I've seen... Brian. Why shouldn't he? It's just that he doesn't look sad. He looks furious. It's unsettling. He's struggling with the loss. We all are. I know, but it's been months, and we've done little but search for this blasted manuscript and box. Le Chasseur has a lead on the box. To meet him and Chevalier in St. John's. Chevalier too? No hope of cheering me up, then. When Achilles said whoever had the artifacts could access sites of great power, what did he mean? I'm not sure I understand it myself, sir. I had a long talk with Adam Wally about that. He believes the box can be activated to, well, project words or images. Like a magic lantern? What do you mean? You know the magic lantern shows Father Connolly put on in the church basement? The box had a candle in it, I think. He put these little glass plates in front. Then we'd see the images projected on the wall, like cathedrals in Rome. Bright and near as big as life. Ah, yeah. I suppose it is. <coughs> Except that it interprets the strained language of the manuscript, too. If the plate were of a banner in Latin, we'd see it in English. How is that possible? Who knows? I fear we might never truly understand how any of the pieces of even work. Where in the world has the most beautiful girls? I suppose it depends on your vision of beauty. A damsel from Corfu and one from Oslo are as different as chalk and cheese, but... See, opinions like that give a man a reputation for wisdom. Yeah, thank you. I would have just said Havana. The girls there have lusty buttocks and bosoms and feel no shame in putting them on display. But that's no slight against our lasses from home. I suppose. I think Galway has the nicest ones. Fair and modest. Always willing to spot you a penny for an ale. Don't say. Then there's the maids I want to lose. Destined for the convents they were. Dark eyed and kind of disposition. If only I'd spoke Portuguese. Not that we spent much of our nights talking. We're almost there, Captain. Le Chasseur will be expecting us. And Chevalier. That's a small price to pay for a lead in the precursor box.
Chevalier, what happened to your vessel? I got myself into a bit of a scrape. Sent three ships in all hands to their watery grave. The Giafu nearly followed them down. Just your fate has been better, Le Chasseur. Indeed. My sources inform me that Samuel Smith has searched far and wide, looking for answers on how to make that strange box work. He just returned from Europe. Where is he now? Refitting his schooner. If you hurry. You can catch him... there. Oh, remember those blueprints? Well, I had an engineer build that marvelous weapon for your ship. Master Pucker's gun fires more shots than an artillery brigade, and twice as fast. Many thanks. Anything for my wooded friends. Captain, I will join you on this voyage. Then shall we, gentlemen? You are in a jovial mood, Che. Why shouldn't I be? I have a new weapon, and will soon have a chance to use it. Besides, Templars are usually well guarded, and I'm sure that Smith fellow is no exception. I also took the liberty of ordering some improvements. Morgan now has a ram cut through ice itself. I have heard of such technology, but never witnessed its operation. What about Smith, then? Is he close by? Aye. He sails these very waters. And he may have the precursor box. Then let's find him. That weather looks monstrous. There he is! Most fortunate timing! Lady Luck never ceases to smile on you! He's seen us! Give chase! But hold your fire! We must not damage the box or risk losing it to the sea! Can't this bucket go any faster? At least my ship is still seaworthy, Chevalier! Our target's a smart man, but out of his element here. Smith is the Templar's treasurer! What he's doing in these waters is beyond me. Maybe he came here to meet someone. Or ran into your pirates. He's refitting his ship. So something must have happened. If one of my... ...guys attacked him, I would have known about it. Well, he's back from a long voyage. Now's our chance to get him. Smith controls most of the Templars well, doesn't he? With him out of the way, Washington entrusted the precursor box to him. He probably still has it. Shay's right. The box comes first. So we can't sink him. We'll have to board his ship. We'll force him to beach. Look, Captain. He's cutting through the ice. It seems you're not the only one equipped with such a ram, Shay. Let us hope ours fares just as well. way is clear. Now, once more, your fortune holds. But do not waste time congratulating yourself. Smith is getting away. These waters are full. It's an ambush! Halfway you see the other affair. Smith must not escape!
I don't see Smith's ship. Let's get rid of these distractions first. We'll find him. within reach. Wickedness is this! Another Templar tactic. They can cover whole stretches of ocean with their flames. Careful, Shay. We could be burnt to cinders. It's nothing more than a last desperate throw of the dice. He knows we have him. This must be one of the purest places. We've been hit! So unspoiled. A ball, Captain! Yeah. It's quite a rough squall, Captain. Topsails, gallants, and royals. Now we know where he was headed. Bastard has an encampment here. Follow him on land. Do not even think of firing the ship's weapons near that precious box. I'll take care of this. Captain, Let the main sails into the wind. Haul in the studs. Thank <laughs> you. 